Hi, my creature Spikies. I'm just delicious tourists. Welcome to the Love Tarot reading. Every kid, every baby, today we are doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my baby, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bubble date, and marriage, a snake in the grass. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening to Victoria, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their person? In March 2024, going into April, we assume some kind of a rift or separation between you and your baby in these you versus some readings. Um, I see the Five of Wands here for your person. So this person is very conflicted. They know they betrayed you, but they're kind of like, you know, setting on their pride. They got a lot of demons that they're dealing with. Uh, it could be toxic, uh, straight away toxic max masculinity if you are dealing with a masculine energy. Uh, it is someone who did betray you. They do see you as their justice, as their karma. Look at that, Bippo. You are the karma. You are the one who sees all. They know you know. Um... What was the betrayal? It was like the lowest of the low kind of thing, ten of swords. They ended something here with you. So uh, this is an ending. Uh, this is a separation. It's not just a rift. This is, you know, something ended here. This person failed you. They failed to prote protect you from the big bad dragon, but, but, um, you know, regardless of gender. But, you know, they failed to protect you of something. They failed to be there for you. They failed to nourish you. They failed to, you know, get between you and that speeding uh, truck. <clears throat> They chickened out. This person chickened out. Uh, in the end, you had far more courage than this person, and um, they don't like that. You know, um, they're kind of they are suffering. You know, <laughs> don't get me wrong, they're suffering. Um, but it is someone who just turned out to be a bit of a coward. So let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So you deserve the best of the best, the cream of the cream. Taurus, remember that. I love you so much, my boo boo. Give me a kiss. Welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you so much, Taurus, because you're my opposite sign. I'm your group, you're your Taurus. You know, we're like the sun and the moon, baby. Uh, judgment. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> you did judge them. You had no choice. See, they see you just uh, justice and judgment, the past and the present. You had no choice, though, because this person showed you their true colors, and it was someone who was so lacking. So like, It wasn't like a little bit. It was super bad. In a crisis, they left you. Mm, who got this? Either Scooby or Aquarius. Like, literally someone uh, came up as uh, such a coward. They left you in a burning house, you know? Like, like literally, that you know, that's a very specific message. Or they left you when you were ill. They left you, like, um, in a car crash. They left you in the car. They saved themselves. This person saved themselves. Um, you got attacked by a rabid dog, and this person ran away. You got robbed, and this person hid behind you, hid behind the tree, whatever it was. Um... This person just showed you that they're a coward. Um, they could have not wanted to address issues they brought into the connection. If it was a bimbo, himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, you have the um, page of wands here. So it is somebody who um, kind of, you know, came in with a lot of desire, a lot of uh, good ideas, and then disappointed you with the Five of Cups here because they weren't able to handle the situation. They could have not been able to address issues from their past, such as a past relationship, um, kids they have with a past person, and they were kind of bringing in that baggage into um, the new connection with you. Uh, and then, you know, you kind of judge them. <laughs> But, but we just judged them, Taurus. Good for you. You know, it's also Scorpio energy. So you were inhabiting that opposite uh, energy for you. We we're like, okay, whatever. Let's judge it. Um, they know they disappointed you. They know they ran away. They could have run away from a conversation too. You know, it's just someone who's running away, hopping in and then hopping out. And they feel very much ashamed. But I mean, you know, yeah, so they should. If it was an established connection, it is someone who was hopping in and out all the time. It is someone who you could have felt was, uh, if you have children from your marriage and this person has children from another marriage or a uh, connection, relationship, situation, partnership, uh, they were, you always felt like they were favoring the other family. And you finally just judged them. You could have like served them papers in the end because they kept abandoning you. Uh, but I do think it's someone who abandoned you, um, like it was serious, they could have abandoned you with a health issue, they abandoned you in need. 
And there were like little glimpses of this throughout the relationship. They were, you know, when your car broke down, they abandoned you. And then something really big happened. They abandoned you that one last time and they ran away and they know they ended it, but they almost didn't expect you to serve them papers or to like truly move out or to like really move on. You know what I mean? Um, they feel like, they feel like they wasted a good thing, but they, but it's a douche flute. It's cockroach energy. I'm sorry, babe. The seven of wands and their intentions, you know, they still want to assert themselves somehow, some way, but they don't know how the four of swords, they shall remain silent in the next four hours, four days, four weeks. And then the four of pentacles, hmm. they're kind of holding on to you. I would expect to hear from this person. Um, if it's a divorce proceeding, they're going to try and, like, use kids or collateral. You know, like Something is collateral, you know, like the house or whatever. They're going to be holding on to things, holding on to money, holding on to facts and figures. Um, if it's um, a douche flute from the streets, uh, douche flute has bimbo, himbo, anyone in between. It is someone who's going to be trying to hold on to you. So they're going to be, like, you know, liking your posts but not actually messaging you because it's a coward. And they're going to be waiting for you to fix the problem. So let's see. Mm what the advice is for Taurus and what else is coming up. Let me just check the time, baby. Okay, yeah. I mean, you already know in your intu intuition uh, what the advice is. Seven of Cups. Um, you know, this is someone who's just not clear. It's not a clear... Um, you can't trust this person, basically. And, you know, we're both fixed signs. So it's just telling Aquarius, we need that strong, you know, vibrant energy. Like, you know who you are. You know what you have to offer. If you're going to if you're gonna be offering betrayal and revenge, just let me know. Bipo. Just tell me because, you know, I live my life, life in a big way. Us fixed signs are big, big energies. And this person is kind of like a, a spindly cockroach energy. I'm sorry, but to say all that stuff. Also, cross watcher, these energies can't switch, so don't take it personal. The Nine of Pentacles, there is another person waiting for you. They've been single for a long time and they deserve a beautiful relationship with you. Could be another earth sign. Uh, it is someone who has. Um, their life figured out, their ducks in a row, their money is in order. They're just waiting for the right person now. It's like they built a house, uh, they put up a table, they furnished the table, they furnished the bedroom, the bathroom, uh, the dining room. They got like, the food is ready. Like, where is my boot bell? This person deserves you the most. Yeah, Ace of Cubs, this is your one true love. Uh, I don't care if you were in a relationship with the douche flute for like 10, 20, 30, 50, 60 years, but 100 years, you got um, your one true love coming your way. Um, don't miss it. Um, in the next nine hours, nine days, nine weeks, nine months, or in the ninth month of the year, you will be meeting a high vibrational soulmate. Watch out for that person. It's someone who's actually a little bit standoffish. They may not be very extroverted. So um, it's not like you're going to have to find them, but you're going to have to find a way to put yourself in situations where you might be meeting them. It's someone who doesn't go out a lot, you know? The hermit, see? Uh, it might be, um, you'll have to find them online. But, but I know people hate hearing that, but you may have to find them online because that person doesn't actually go out a lot. Um, not that it's a homebody, but it's a, a very private, exclusive person. You know, it could be VIP energy, who knows? Uh, but it is someone who's waiting for the right person. So just bear that in mind, Taurus. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story, if this is your douche flute, if you're interested in any personal reading. All the information um, is also down below my boop boom. And don't forget to like and subscribe because that really helps your mommy out. I'll see you next time, my baby, my sparkliness. Uh, stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized. I just said sparkly twice. Stay moisturized and sparkly and sp 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 delicious. Uh, and may the angels protect you, baby.